like three edges full bleed, that's another way to do like for hole punching. Okay. And without shrinking your text. Oh, okay. Center it. You can do positive and negative, which I don't recommend because that kills a lot of toner. Um, and the erase feature. The erase center border is really good for a school environment if you're copying from an open book. When you do that, you just want to make sure the spine of the book goes with the eight and a half. Okay. And then select the center and edge erase so you don't get so much of a black line down the middle. Good. Um, let see if there's anything else in here. You also have a rotate sort feature. Um, the first teacher is in here making her copies with all the staples. Mm -hmm. If you're out of staples, or you don't want to staple it, and you're 8 by 11 originals, right. if you select Rotate Sort, it'll do, it'll come out of the finisher like this, set 1, set 2, set 3, set 4. Oh, great. It'll pull from two different paper drawers, since you have them set up that way. Okay. Um, over here, we have Log In, Log Out, which you're never going to use. Mm -hmm. Um, energy saver puts it into sleep mode. User tools counter. The only thing you'll ever need that for is a copy count. Okay. okay. And then the simple screen, for people who have trouble seeing it, makes it great big. You lose some features though. Right. You lose your finishing capabilities, which... Um, and then your USB here, that is accessed by scanning. Okay. Have you used that yet or have you tried it? I haven't tried that yet, no. Um, scanning, let me show everybody how to scan to themselves. Put your document in there, select scanner, select who I'm going to send it to. Who can I send a junk mail to? Oh, send it to me. I'm Ward. You're Ward? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, see this 100% is going to dip to 99? It goes back to 100, that's in your email as a PDF attachment. Right. Oh, wow. And this will scan color. Yeah. So if you have pictures you want to scan and email to people or to parents. Can, can you select an email that you want to send? Like, my, like can I put somebody's email address in there yeah. that's not in there? You can go to manual, manual? entry. Oh. The downside to that is when they get the email, it's going to come from a copier. It's not going right, to come so from you. Know. Right. Oh, that's okay. So yeah. it's, it might be easier to send it to yourself and then forward right, it. Forward it. Okay. That way it won't land in their junk mail. Um, and scanning, you're not charged for any scans. You're only charged for when toner hits paper. Okay. So you can scan as much as you need to during the day. Um, printing, when there are some jobs in here, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Is it safe to print them? Okay. When you print from your computer in the classroom, it's going to ask you the first time to hit, um, I think it's details. Then you're going to type in your name. So when you come down here, that's when you hold print. And I'll show you this. Yeah, I did all that. Okay, everybody set up that way. So you can teach everybody that. So when you do a hold print job and come down, okay, come down to the copier, you'll go to printer, hold print jobs, hold print and these are the jobs themselves. And then here's where you tell it how many you want. Yep. So that's her print job for Kate, so we'll have to deliver that to her. Um, some other types of print jobs. Hold print will be the most common. If you are printing something confidential, you can go into locked. When you select locked print from your driver, it's going to ask you for a code that will not appear here. Okay. You just have to remember your code when you Where come down here? to the copier. Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, and then a stored mm -hmm. print job. You see how I just printed this and then it disappeared from the queue? Mm -hmm. Stored print job would have left it there. Oh, that, okay. that would be for something you might print every all the week. time. Okay. Um, also, you can save your stored print jobs to when you go file print job type. Mm -hmm. You can also pick print to the document server. The document server is your filing cabinet here. Oh, okay. Stored at the machine. In our office, we use our document server for letterhead, fax cover sheets, anything that's not going to change. Right. A form. Okay. And then to access it, just go to document server and find it and print it. It'd be like uh, registration forms or something. Right, right. Um, facts. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll have to play with that. Um, face up, dial your number, hit start. Oh, okay. Simple as that. And um, I believe your program to 
punch out a sheet only if there's an error. So the machine will try to call the fax number five times within 15 minutes. If there's no answer, if it's a wrong number, you'll get a notice telling you okay. so. Okay. It'll give you a result in the right-hand corner saying why it didn't make it. Good. And that's kind of uh, the long and short of it. Oh. And, uh, one thing I forgot to tell you. Yes. If you um, have your USB mm -hmm. flash drive in there. Yeah. That would be, if you're putting it in here to print from, mm -hmm. print from memory storage device, it's going to go out and look for it. Okay. And then all your jobs that are PDF will appear. Oh, great. The non-PDF will appear too, but it will probably print them as jumble. Right, okay. And take 20,000 pages. Okay. When you want to scan something to the flash drive, select scanner, and then, I just saw it. I just saw it here. Okay. Hit store file and then store to memory device. Oh, okay. The status light came on because there is no memory device there. Right. Also, when you're scanning jobs, if you're scanning, so you have to scan 10 different ones to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you can name it by file name and you get your keyboard again. Right. Okay. So it, that'll show up at the top of your email. Okay. What that scan is. Great. And that's pretty much all there is to it, unless you have other questions.